soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Boxvoice.com live here with Bernard Hopkins. Bernard, uh, the fight definitely lived up to the hype. Uh, Matisse, he showed everybody that he's um, more talented, used the jabs, and has his basic fundamentals down pack. And uh, that definitely took him to the 12th round with the decision. Uh, what did you think of the fight, and uh, how did you assess Lucas Matisse's career, comparing it, uh, not career, but uh, uh, performance, comparing it to his previous performances? So there's two questions. First one, the one uh, about the fight, um, Matisse showed that he not only is a come forward guy that can bang, made a really a outstanding record with that type of style and aggressiveness, uh, but he made those adjustments but he didn't have to make them because of Ruslan's uh, pressure. Uh, he made it earlier before the, the first, second, third round. You've seen those subtle left and right, uh, not running, but sliding and moving. And just giving the Ruslan a, a, a moving target than a still target. And Ruslan had really difficult time getting Matisse up against the ropes. And that's where if you look at the Bradley fight in some cases, you look at other fights of Ruslan, when he gets you up near the ropes or the corner, uh, he, he, he presents a really danger and he does uh, most of his damage. Uh, Matisse was very disciplined in early in the fight and some spots in the middle and he got off track and he paid by losing those rounds when he lost those rounds. Uh, I, I feel great that the fight not only pan out to be will be predicted. But I, I, I feel great that when you see two warriors make adjustments and one make it before the other or often than the other don't make it and those adjustments and you see the, the talent that everyone really overlooked. You know, the two come forward guys, yes. They'd rather do that than, I think, to do the things that Matisse did today that I believe would got him the victory. And that's those subtle movements from the left and right and made Ruslan had to reset, reload, and then fire. When you're in there with a seasoned veteran, you can say, a young veteran, there's a difference, I believe, from a young veteran pertaining to an older veteran. And when he made those adjustments, it seemed like Ruslan wasn't prepared or didn't have the foot movement to cut off or to even get up and try to like use his bouncy, his toes, his, his, his ability to cut the ring off and force him to the ropes. And when he couldn't achieve that, I think that's when it became back to what he's used to doing. He related back to what he used to doing, that's what? Coming forward, even though is a negative to what he's trying to achieve. When this fight was on the negotiation table, did you know as a previous fighter that Lucas Matisse would have the tools to be able to do what he did tonight? Um, because Chris Algieri kind of laid out a blueprint. A good stiff jab is uh, Ruslan's kryptonite. But not only that, I mean, I looked at what Danny Garcia did to Matisse to know that Matisse can do the same thing that Danny did to him is to give them subtle movements from a guy that's really flat-footed all the time and make him reset and reload. If Matisse can not only do that, which I believe he could, and I mentioned it prior to the HBO fighters meeting the day before, um, because I've seen that in Matisse more than I've seen in any fight that Ruslan had. So, I, I knew that the, the advantage wasn't who was punching the hardest, who was going to continue to come forward. It's who can make those adjustments to their advantage and become slightly a, a boxer puncher. Not a boxer runner, but a boxer puncher. And I've seen that in Matisse. And I've seen that the advantage between who will win this fight and who will lose this fight. Because plan B, plan B is often uh, uh, need to be used in boxing than just relying on plan A. My final question is, 
My final question, uh, obviously Lucas Matisse, in my opinion, got the win because of his combination punching and obviously the jab. Do you think that's something that he would take uh, to his next fight or is that on a fight by fight basis because of the nature of this fight and the pressure of Paratnikov's he was forced to use those tools or is the combination punching and jab something that he can use all the time? Well, it all depends on if it's Crawford, if it's this guy or that guy. I mean, you have to understand that you, you got to look at the styles to be able to say what a fighter is capable or possible of, of, of doing to another fighter. But then you got to look at another scenario and saying to yourself, it's like, you know, do Matisse make those other adjustments to know that the way he fought Ruslan is not the same way he fight the next guy he fights. So it has to all, I believe, related to and, and who it is he's fighting is, is the styles. And, you know, people throw it out there a lot, styles make fights. They really do. I mean, because think about it. I mean, can you imagine Muhammad Ali versus Muhammad Ali would be a born fight? But Muhammad, but Joe Frazier versus Joe Frazier would be, trust me, you, 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 you're going home early. Somebody's going to be, and you need bibs on because blood is on the fifth row. You understand? Because you got two guys coming and they're they not going anywhere. You got two great Ali's. I'm talking about the great Ali's. You no, know, just have some humor with this statement. It's like, you know, two guys are going to be dancing, they're going to be poking, they're going to be joking around, they're going to be trying to do the rope a dope. But then you got Joe Frazier or even two George Foreman. I can give you two styles that were similar to those two styles that really come together and become big, big conversations in boxing. George Foreman and Ra Lyles. George Foreman and Ron Lyles fight. You remember that fight? They both could see you. How old are you? You got you to gotta YouTube that fight. Seriously. Thank you.